of Twin Flames has become a somewhat controversial subject in the field of spirituality. The main issue being that Twin Flames has become an industry that can teeter on the verge of toxic. Even the concept itself can be used to justify highly toxic behavior and leave a person tiptoeing around their own psychosis. And yet, there is undeniably a large percentage of the spiritual community going through intense and profound experiences that they can only classify as being a Twin Flame connection. It is by far the most asked question I receive in my Instagram stories and clearly a topic that many need guidance navigating. So with the intent of helping to better understand this topic, I'll be going over the real purpose of a twin flame connection, as well as the difference between a twin flame, a soulmate, and a karmic partner. We can begin with what a twin flame is. A twin flame is someone who shares the identical soul core frequency as you. This core frequency comes from the oversoul, which is the expression of a person's energy field that is directly above the higher self. In fact, much of the guidance we receive in this lifetime comes from the level of the Oversoul. So the Oversoul divides itself into multiple pairs of souls, which form a soul cluster, or what one would call their soul family. It does this so that it can immerse itself into a wealth of perspectives and a diversity of experiences. So these pairs of souls all share the same Oversoul and have very similar energetic signatures. But twin flames have the same exact energetic signature within the soul cluster of that oversoul. And that's your history lesson for today. However, the common way this concept gets portrayed is that twin flames are two halves that are meant to make up a whole, like cosmic puzzle pieces completing an image that is implicitly unfinished. This can lead one to believe there is something innately incomplete within themselves that can only be rectified through the other. Even if this isn't exactly the sentiment, this is what can draw a person to the twin flame paradigm, the prospect of union with the other half of their soul. But the true purpose of twin flames or divine counterpart relationships does not come from a place of deficiency at all. It comes from a place of surplus, an oversoul so vast, so rich in its development, a totality so whole and complete in and of itself that it only divides itself in order to be more of service to its own essence and to the universe at large. So for those who resonate with the twin flame paradigm, the purpose of that connection is ascension based and twofold to help raise the collective consciousness of the planet through one's unique service to humanity and to break lifetimes of one karmic cycle in their personal healing journey. Because the twin flame is someone who shares the identical soul core frequency as you, the depth of recognition, emotion, and acceleration of spiritual growth that is experienced in a twin flame relationship can be overwhelming and profound as you are meeting the essence of your own godhood in the reflection of the other. However, this is for the very same reason why the connection is often tumultuous in nature, at least at first, because the other is serving as the deepest form of mirror to the core of your being. The mirroring is so intense it can lead to cycles of attracting and repelling one another as the energies are thrown into confusion. This brings up all of the insecurities, traumas, and unresolved wounds of the past to the surface, which makes this kind of a relationship highly volatile because you're not just dealing with two people and their typical emotional baggage. You're dealing with your projections of abandonment from the light, the fall of Atlantis, and cyclical cataclysm in the draconian third dimensional timelines. Due to this unique feature of penetrating a person's self-concept deep into the core of their being, there is a lot of triggering that goes on in a twin flame connection, as you can imagine. The triggers are enormous for these aspects of the self to be brought to the surface in the first place, as each are healing the denied, forgotten, and abandoned parts of the self through the mirror of what the other is bringing up in them. In addition to mirroring, synchronicities are one of the main ways you can tell if you're experiencing a twin flame connection. In fact, the synchronicities can seem to be endless because, once again, you're dealing with your own core frequency and another person. So the alignment of inner and outer events are going to be amplified. From the very first encounter with the twin flame, synchronicity plays a strong role to both orchestrate and activate a spiritual awakening within oneself. In fact, the twin flame journey can be summed up as one giant spiritual awakening after another as this connection is designed to catalyze each person to the next level in their ascension process. Another prominent feature of a twin flame connection is the amount of telepathy that takes place. This type of connection has a large telepathic component to it that can often cause the connection to feel omnipresent. And it's not reserved to just thoughts or the mental body. One's emotions can also be felt. 
So there is a psychic element in this kind of relationship that enhances one's intuitive abilities. The individual's entire electromagnetic field goes through an activation as an ancient recognition is awakened in one another. Likewise, due to the universal law that like attracts like, the twin flame attraction is highly magnetic. This bond is not just felt in any one center of the body, although the heart center does experience exceptionally powerful sensations, the magnetic attraction takes place through all seven energy centers in the body, creating a strong pull that can only be described as intense. The major difference between a twin flame, a soulmate, and a karmic relationship is there is a romantic attraction in a twin flame relationship, whereas soulmates and karmic partners can either be romantic or platonic. Twin flames reflect each other's discord, whatever is held in the person's energy field that is out of alignment with their true self, before they can reflect one another's harmony. And soulmates typically reflect a person's harmony. Anyone you feel a deep bond with where you both are just on the same wavelength is a soulmate. Some soulmates play bigger roles in a person's life than others, but each one is meant to assist our evolution and share a special form of love with. They can be family, friends, or even a romantic partner, but they can also be complete strangers. These are the bonds in our life that give us emotional fulfillment and a sense of belonging. Soulmate relationships still include conflict and challenges, but these are not ill-willed in nature. The difference between a twin flame relationship and a karmic relationship is a karmic relationship will lead a person further away from their life purpose. In fact, they are repelled by a person's expansion and therefore seek to unconsciously hinder one's spiritual growth. Whereas a twin flame will catalyze a person's expansion toward their soul's purpose and toward spiritual growth. The whole goal of a twin flame relationship is to catalyze one another into embodying our higher self. But addiction, abuse, and power games are common themes in karmic relationships. So you can pretty much expect any form of toxicity from a karmic bond as these kinds of connections bring out the worst in both parties and are meant to be short-lived. If you're trying to identify whether you are in a karmic relationship and are not really sure, a pro tip is notice whether they can be happy for you at all. It's hard for karmic connections to show genuine support because there's too many shadow aspects at play in this dynamic. And these dynamics are not deeply hidden either. They're surface level and easy to notice should one look for them. The possibility of transmutation with a twin flame relationship into an exalted state of consciousness and stable bliss is attainable should that prospect be desired by both parties. However, in all honesty, there is no potential for transmutation in a karmic relationship, which is why it's called a karmic relationship. They exist to teach us harsh lessons and to tie up loose ends. We are drawn to these people, be they family, friendships, or love interests, for karmic reasons. Like all relationships, they serve as a catalyst, but they do so in a backhanded way. They represent unhealthy patterns and detrimental behaviors within the self that need to be addressed in order to break that karmic loop and to heal that affinity once and for all. So twin flames can often share the tumultuousness of karmic partners and the passion of soulmate bonds, but are a completely different beast altogether. Although there are prominent stages within this kind of connection, there is no one size fits all approach or outcome. You can experience the bliss of reunification with your twin flame. You can get caught in cycles of attracting and repelling. You can use a connection to avoid your own healing journey. You can use a connection to deepen your own healing journey. You can learn valuable lessons in both self-love and unconditional love, thereby accelerating your own ascension process. So free will is at play here. What is always a wise aim is to heal from within and let the chips fall where they may. As with anything, it is up to the individual to make sure they are resonating with the concept of twin flames from as clear of a mental space as they can and not from trauma bonding. I hope this has helped your journey in some capacity. Make sure to subscribe to my channel for higher dimensional guidance through spiritual awakenings. Thank you and see you next time.